Are you going for a facial today? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So Her third facial of the week. <laughs> but I'm also going for my IPL. Basically, um, it's our mum's day off today. And unfortunately, I have an IPL and facial appointment at Biolite, which is very hard for me to get a hold of, so I'm not going to pass up the opportunity. I appointment. know, literally, like, what literally, the hell? My mum's like, so we're going to Abu Dhabi to go to the Louvre. And I was like, ah, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> I don't get my appointment frequently enough, so I'm gonna have to stay here. So today's procedure is IPL. I actually get a variation of IPL and laser. When I'm in London, I get laser. And when I'm back in Dubai, I do IPL. I don't really feel there's much of a difference. I personally prefer the laser because it's less painful, it's quicker. It's horrible. <laughs> I was saying we should definitely get the Dior sunglasses to wear for clients. <laughs> so, my mum decided she really wanted me to come and she was willing to wait. So, oh god, the sunlight is kind of awful. Um, so, I'm now heading back home to hopefully fix my face and go to the Louvre. Yay! Um, but I am not driving. I refuse to drive all the way to Abu Dhabi. Um, it's maybe it's not that far. I'm just not in the mood to drive. So our driver's going to be taking us. Ooh! Uh, filthy Cheetos hearts. I love the smell of this. I love the smell of Cheetos. What does face palm mean? Mum, what's face palm? Show us. Right. Okay, so we've just been dropped off to oh God, it's so bright, to the Louvre. And um, it's interesting. It's a nice day. It's sunny. So lazy. We're trying to get a buggy to take us around the museum. We've just got off. <laughs> we'll race in our wheelchairs. <laughs> Oh look, the beach is right there. Ooh, Where's fancy. It? I'm confused. Oh, I want to get in the water. So, I'm crippled right now because I've got a really bad blister. <laughs> but we are entering the Louvre. <laughs> Lisa, how would you, how'd you pronounce Louvre? Where's the Whoa. door? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Oh, security! Oh no. It's what? So, Elise and I literally only just came here for pictures of ourselves. Fancy. We got to go before we get stuck. I'm bored already, not gonna lie. See, I told you it's freezing. Lucky. We're going to be 23 and left for a month. Guys, if you're less than 22, you get student passes. If you're older than that, you're old and you're considered an adult. Do you want an audio, guys? Okay. Beep, beep. Oh, oh, okay. Can you tell I'm having such a fun time? <laughs> I'm someone's picture. <laughs> Whilst trying to pose in Elise's picture. Oops. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> Such an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, as you know, I have a blister, which is making it really uncomfortable for me to walk. So, <laughs> we had to get a wheelchair because I was just complaining non stop. People are gonna think I'm serious. Shh. I am being serious. It's really uncomfortable. Hello, men. Oh, censored. Boring. Oh, tush. Oh, my God. Guys, so we just found Whistler's mum. Guys, oh my God, it's Whistler's mum. Who is Whistler, though? No one knows. Wait, wait. wait I want. Like, okay. Wait, thank you. <laughs> Touched it with my ass. I'll do it with your boomer, ready? Finally leaving. So today, we had a very unexpected lunch. I just finished off at the doctor's, picked up Elise and my mum from Firelight. 
and we decided, well my mum decided she wanted to go to the beach for lunch. I am completely unprepared. You know how much I hate the beach. Are so, technically on the beach? Why are you wearing a sweater? This is like the okay, last floor. We're sitting under the shade. <laughs> I didn't think I was coming to the beach. If I was coming to the beach, I would have fully come naked like Elise did. But... <laughs> well, look, I'm wearing jeans and a tank top. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. But, you know, in Mona's eyes, it's naked. Um, I usually just go to restaurants indoors and it's always an icebox. A lot of people question, why are you always in jumpers in Dubai? It is freezing everywhere. And I have a thermostat problem, I'm always cold. But we are having Indian food today. As I, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'd know that I recently was craving dokla, which is like, is it a South Indian dish? No, dokla is so Gujarati. Good, it's a Gujarati dish. Yeah, whatever picture and I have, I'll send it to you when I, uh... So, yeah. And, you know, I can't, like, I've been trying to find every bloody Indian restaurant in Dubai without having to travel too far. But unfortunately, this place doesn't have it, but they do have a few other of my favourite dishes. They have, like, a thing called chaat, and they have a variation of different... Where's chaat from? Just glue throughout uh, India. Uh, chaat is more of a uh, North Indian. Okay. Point I was trying to make, I really love Indian food. I live for it. It's, I think it's one of my favourite cuisines because every dish in every region has their own kind of dishes and everything tastes so different whether you're in the north or whether you're in the south the food is completely different very distinct taste so banging regardless it bangs it could be because you actually spent some time in india as well do you think so yeah that's why i appreciate the food so much yep i basically grew up in idlis and dosas what when i was a year old <laughs> <laughs> no no we go back every year so it's nice i've never been back in my like, ages you haven't. I go. I went like maybe last year. So we all got lassi, salty lassi. This is silly bread with potato on the inside, and they give you this mixed pickles. So it's like spicy pickles. What is this? It's like fermented pickle. It looks like mango. Whatever. And you just like right. Should we eat, begin? Eat this all together and yogurt. Honestly, I'm not impressed with the um, paratha. That's the papdi chaat, papdi, papri, papda, pap, pap. And pani puri. This is the puri, which you basically put that liquid into, and it's like a, just like a burst of explosion of flavors in your mouth. It's fabulous. Honestly, this place is not lit. The bread was too thick, the stuffing was not even flavorsome. Pani puri, although this was like crunchy, just didn't taste so great. I'd give it like a I give it a three. I yeah, give it a two. Two point five because it's on the beach. Out of five. Out of ten. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Out of five would be like a one point five. It's because it's not point five. And you can't waste this food. Either get we'll it back or we can give it to someone. Good morning, guys. Today we have an exciting day. Elise's in Dubai for a few more days, and we are going to be heading to the polo we both absolutely love going to the polo it's such a fun event for us because obviously we're both massively into horses and it's just something we've grown up with so we're definitely looking forward to that today but before i do need to film a youtube video the semi-final basically starts at two and it's currently 12. I did have a late night last night so that's why I'm just like really exhausted but we also have another exciting thing to show you. I don't know 100% if I'm going to be taking you to the polo. I just feel a bit uncomfortable vlogging around family in public like they're okay with me doing it at home but when we're in like a public environment and we're at an event it's just a bit cringe. I still haven't got to that confidence level yet and I don't think people really understand the concept of vlogging yet. Like a lot of people just do it they hold up their phones take selfies and you know what but i think my dad kind of cringes at the idea of it so don't want to really embarrass him um we are also going to show you our birthday cake as i mentioned elise and i schedule a lot of our posts because it just saves time and it's something that a lot of youtubers and bloggers do because no one actually posts well very few people actually post what they're wearing on that specific day right yeah 
like it's just unrealistic and if you have a curated feed like both of us then you have to make sure that your outfit goes with your feed and if what you're wearing doesn't go with that feed then you have to change your outfit or just save that picture for another day but today i'm just gonna stop rambling on and i'm actually going to show you what we wanted to show you our birthday cake we went for like a box of designer boxes for our 18th our 16th was like a barbie cake um and this one this one's a bit it's cringe but it's cute so this is the cake guys this is just an idea we got off google and we also asked you guys what you think we should get and a lot of people were like do you like it yeah a lot of people actually said we should get a g-wagon car so it's not the four by four Unfortunately, it's the old one. It's but 2018. You know what? It's still cute. And we've got a little customized number plate for our 23rd birthday. But I'm surprised at the detail that's gone into it. It's actually amazing. Like, even like the little um, door handles have like a little dip in them. No way. Yeah, it's so cute. And the backs. Even got the Mercedes sign on it, the logo, the she light thing. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So much. Honestly, Sugarholic had been doing our cakes since we were like 16 and they are amazing. And I wouldn't go to anyone else in Dubai to do my cake. I love how they've put a little PSF 23 on the number plate. That's so cute. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my favorite products, beauty products of 2018. So I've just finished filming my 2018 beauty favorites video and now I need to get ready to go to the polo i still do not know what to wear i'm honestly so confused i'm just thinking white trousers white shirt or maybe a white jumpsuit even though elise is actually wearing all white i feel like white's a polo color it should be fine like it's summer no it's not it's winter but it, it feels like summer the sun's out so but it like feels like summer because the sun's out so i'm sure i'll be fine um yeah or I might just wear trousers, I really don't know. Hey guys, so we've just got to the polo and I'm only vlogging now because it's completely empty. There's no one here. <laughs> There's literally no one here. Yeah. But yeah, this is the Desert Palm um, Hotel, which is honestly, it's really lovely. It's like a little oasis in the middle of this nowhere. It's honestly so windy. I don't know how they're playing polo. Polo is basically, if you guys don't know, I'm just gonna explain. It's a sport where you ride around on horses hitting a ball around <laughs> to put it very briefly it's honestly a very tactical skilled sport i have tried we've both like tried and it's just, i can't ride and yeah i mean i can like whack stuff but just what i'm whacking it just doesn't and the best part what i love about polo is the stomping of the divots which is when it's half time and you basically you stomp down the di the half time is when you just basically because the horse the horses are like hooves like dig into the ground and obviously that just creates a very uneven surface so what you have to do is go and put like the little piece of grass back into the holes and it's quite fun unfortunately today i'm wearing stilettos and not wedges therefore i will not be stomping any divots today or even getting on any grass but at least Valentino's. Guys, you don't even know what happened today. Like, I dropped a suitcase on my foot. Before bed, was she was there uh, crying for about two hours. It really hurt. It was like my little toe. It's very painful. Anyways, should we go? Like, do you want to go? We just bumped into the most fashionable person in Dubai, Nina. I love you. Oh, I, love I see you. them grow up. Look, She's known the most like beautiful <laughs> girls. Honestly, beautiful. <laughs> and they have the best style. Stop. Learn from this <laughs> We've learned from her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you filming? You know yeah. that's the worst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. We're going to have oh. a hundred <laughs> double, triple chins okay, from above. Do I teach you that director. When you're over 30, you're going to have tough. Oh, okay. <laughs> guys, we're just taking pictures. <laughs> Oops. Okay, guys, we are now leaving. <laughs> um, this is fun. Like, we honestly were not planning on coming for this long. Yeah. Because we do have a lunch to attend with our mom, but it's just time to go. <laughs> okay, so now. Where's the light? Now we are just going to go. I think home because we've got lunch with our mother and grandmother but this is so much fun like I haven't been to an event in so long and literally everyone's like where have you been because even when I'm here I don't leave um, and Lisa and I used to go out all the time when we were younger when we first started our blogs like everyone we see at events are like people who've literally seen us grow since the age of like 14 15 which is 
it's really nice um yeah a lot of our friends are a lot older than us because obviously we were the youngest on the scene at the time like our mum used to go out but then we'd go with her and then she stopped going out and then we just take her invites and go off yeah. until we started getting invites ourselves but yeah um this is really lovely did you have fun i had such a lovely time and now we're gonna go for lunch because i'm pretty hungry i'm starving Guys, you know i feel like i've been eating so much in dubai it's all i do here is eat okay so right now <laughs> I switched cameras. One, my bigger camera. I don't know if it's going to focus. But it's very bright out here Happy on my balcony. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, you're going to need to bend down for this picture. You. Okay, so guys. Elise and I are taking our birthday pictures for Instagram. Why don't you just put some heels on? I want to be comfortable. I wish you guys could smell it. I want to eat it right now. Guys, Lady seems to think I'm a giant. Now you're taller than me. Oh, that's my Well, yeah. What does it feel like to be this? This is so weird when you're this tall. I don't like it. It's strange. It's so strange. So, right, I think we're going to have to put the camera up slightly. Yeah. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay, so that was done. It's kind of tricky taking pictures together because we can very rarely find a picture that both Elise and I like. And I'm just realizing this choker is not really doing much for me. It looks ratchet, doesn't it? What does? The choker. Elise and I often struggle to find nice pictures together, but pictures of us together always look really good on Instagram. So we try our hardest to get a good shot. So if you have a sister or a sibling or a best friend and you struggle with this, don't worry, we struggle too. It takes literally thousands of shots. And my camera died at one point, so I actually had to take them on my phone. But I think the phone pictures turn out better. We are now going to lunch because I am hungry. And we're going to come home and we're going to cut that cake. Oh, so I am back from lunch. Obviously, it's actually a few hours later. And it's like 11 o'clock. I'm actually going out with a few friends. Obviously, as you guys know, I very rarely go out. I used to a lot when I was a lot younger. I say a lot younger. It's probably like three years ago um two years ago i i haven't worn my givenchy shirt properly yet this one i haven't worn this givenchy shirt properly yet i do have one in black and if you guys remember i cut that one up i cut like a v out at the neckline and i preferred it so <laughs> that's what's gonna happen to this i'm gonna do a diy project because i want to use it but it's just not cute it doesn't look nice on because it's so oversized. I don't know why I didn't get the right size, even though this is. I think this is a small. I'm just stupid, honestly. Yeah, it's a small. It's a small and it is massive. So, time for a DIY. Okay, so, I figured it's probably better to cut less rather than more. But I have an idea, more or less, of how this is going to go. These are not fabric scissors. These are literally just like kitchen scissors. It's true, my mum says I don't value my clothes. I probably don't think this is what valuing your clothes means, but oh well. I'm recreating it. I'm giving it a better look so I could value it more. Are we not going? Yeah, we are. Just making my outfit. Lisa is so used to me doing this. <laughs> She's not even phased by this shit anymore. Can you do me a favor, honey? Can you just hold this, please? Yeah, literally, I got it to match the Valentinos. Okay. I did like this haul from Farfetch. Oh, those. My sneakers, I was like, oh, I'm going through a phase with red. I even bought like a mini Fendi. Um, Why is it all fighting down? I don't know. Maybe. So I was like, oh, red face. I'm trying to inject color into my life. And then I just never actually wore this. Well, I prefer it to how I looked before. I just think I need to make this V a bit bigger. Okay, so I think it looks a bit better now. We are going to head out and I will see you guys probably tomorrow because I'm not going to vlog when I get home.